Good morning, Yarna Bees. Well, maybe not such a good morning. Have you ever had those days where you wake up and right from the get-go, your day is shit? <laughs> you know, those days where you, you know, the minute you put your boots on the ground, everything goes wrong. And, you know, you, you stub your toe, you kick the cat, you spill your coffee, you, you know. <sighs> That's one of my days right now. <laughs> I seem to be having a lot of those days at the moment since my surgery. Yeah. But that's okay, because I'm going to try and turn it around. So let me tell you what happened. <laughs> so I get up, I'm all like on my little tominator trying to get out of the room. And it's one of those <laughs> trying to get out of the room. And, and that's how my tominator sounds now. <laughs> you know, it's, it's George says that in the middle of the night when I try to go to bed and he's already sleeping, it's like a freaking horror story. And you're going, you got the covers over your head going, what's coming down the hallway? <laughs> and you don't want to look. It's a, That's the way it is. It's like, it's awful. So, yeah, he says my ninja skills are a little lacking <laughs> at the moment because um, the Tominator is giving me away. So, <laughs> um, so anyways... I get up, I tell George to go pee the dog and the cat, you know, and uh, so <laughs> I go in the, my, I have a routine. I go to the coffee maker and I've got a, a Keurig coffee maker and I go to make my coffee. There's no water in the coffee maker. Just that is a pain in the butt because with me being on my tominator i gotta go and take the carp the the water canister out and i gotta try and balance that in my hand and be on my tominator and try and get over to the sink fill it up and then try and turn my tominator around because our our kitchen's not that wide and uh try and turn myself around and get it back without spilling it or dropping it oh. So I just kind of went, forget it. <laughs> it's like, whatever. So I go, and then I usually go to the bathroom and I start running my bath. Well, I go into the bathroom. I go to start running the bath and I notice the pressure isn't quite right. And I'm going, George is doing laundry. So I'm going, great. I have no hot water. Okay. So I go back into the kitchen <laughs> and I'm sitting on the stool and George has got a flailing cat trying to get her to the bathroom <laughs> and she's just like, <laughs> I'm just like, oh my God. So he comes back out unscathed <laughs> and he says, why are you sitting there? <laughs> and I says, there's no water in the coffee maker. You're doing laundry, so I have no hot water. <laughs> I'm just like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> and he's like, well, I did do a load of laundry quite a while ago, so you should be fine. Uh, okay, so that made me feel a little bit better. So he goes and starts my water. <clears throat> I go in there. He, he goes and he gets my coffee going and he goes and makes my bath. He even put bubbles in it. And uh, I'm like, oh, okay, decompress. I go into the bathroom, get my clothes off. I get into the tub. There's only like that much water in the tub. And I'm thinking, this is going to be interesting because I usually need the tub to be full for me to get in and out of it because I still can't put pressure on my foot. So I need that buoyancy, right? So I get myself into the tub and I'm sitting there. I'm just relaxing for a minute before I flip through my phone. 
And I'm realizing that the water's not getting any deeper. What's going on? And the water's getting cold. I sit up and I go and look at the plug. The plug is like this. <laughs> so all of my water has been draining out of the tub while I've been sitting there. And I've got this much water in the tub. So, and the water tank is empty. And so here I am with my feet up. I'm like this, just like, <laughs> the water's like half on me. It's covering pretty much my back and my, my waist. That's it. And I'm like, and George comes in and he looks at me and he goes, what's wrong? So I told him and he starts laughing hysterically and he says, you look like one of those adults that are in the kiddie pool trying to get cool, cooled off, you know, with the legs out and they, you don't fit in the pool and, you, and I'm like, shut up. <laughs> it's like, so he's just laughing. He says, well, I'm going to go to the mailbox now. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, bye. <laughs> so I'm struggling to get out of the bath. And, you know, because I need that buoyancy and I don't have it. And he's gone and I'm trying to get out. And I, I finally did get out, but I kind of wrenched my back a little bit. And then I... All the way back to my chair. And I sit down and I'm going... I'm going to make a video. <laughs> That'll make me feel better. And I believe the parcel that he's gone to pick up, it's not at my post office box. It's actually at the post office. I believe it's my yarn. I'm hoping, geez, I'm hoping. It's been taken way too long. So anyways, because there was a $23 duty on it. So I'm, ho I'm thinking it's probably my yarn. So <clears throat> anyway, so that's that. That was my morning. And my mornings seem to go like that. And it sucks. So. <laughs> um, on a good note. Uh, I finished one of my um, cardigans last night. It's thick. It's bloody heavy. It's the one I'm making for my housekeeper. I made it out of alpaca, right? Or like the rim, the rim, the trim is, <laughs> is made out of alpaca. So it's pretty heavy, but it's really nice. And I'm, I want to put it in the wash and then uh, give it to her on Tuesday, I think, it's, or tu Wednesday, I think she's coming. And then my other one, the, the one I just started, um, I decided I'm going to, oops, my hook is hooked. <laughs> I decided I'm going to make this all in latte cake. I'm almost finished this. All I've got to do is the collar. Oof. And um, the collar and do a little bit on the bottom. It's really hard to see. I'll put it on my mannequin and show it to you. But it's, um, it's really pretty and really soft. So I'll, when I'm done it, I'll put it on the mannequin and I'll show you a picture. Oop, lost my glasses. Okay, now on to the stuff that I wanted to chat about. <clears throat> okay, let's try this. Oh. I watched um, the, the newest Craven Crochet video. She did an excellent video. She did the seven, um, uh, seven steps, reasons, um, stress relief. Um, I can't remember what she called it now. <laughs> See, I haven't had my coffee, so I'm just like, Bleh. Uh, my brain has escaped me. Um, the seven reasons why crochet causes stress relief or it helps with stress relief. She explains all of it and it was fascinating. Um, 
I mean, for the most part, I knew a lot of it. You know, it's like it calms you down and all that kind of stuff. Oh, here we go again. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> uh, I was up until 2 in the morning doing this sweater. Um, anyways, it was an excellent video. I'm going to link that down below. Go watch it. It was, it was really informative and um, yeah, it was really cool. I really enjoyed it. So good for you. Um, uh, cinema, <laughs> Jennifer Cinema Stitches. She just did a video on how to, or, <laughs> it was how did it was about a Swiffer about making Swiffers I think it was Laura from Mad Mimi's was asking her about a Swiffer um and, but her Swiffer is the one that has the little things that you push in uh you push the Swiffer into the holes and Laura's is the one like mine where you have to put it you have to have it on the edges and it's it's like a little encasing thing so <clears throat> Laura, all you have to do is measure out how long your Swiffer is and then add like an inch and a half or two inches on either side and make them pockets. Like just sew up the edges and then it'll fit. I've made them before. They, they're so easy to make and they are awesome. <clears throat> but anyways, uh, Jennifer, <laughs> she took crocheted face cloths or washcloths or like just little square cloths and she put it on her Swiffer and pushed it in the holes. Brilliance. <laughs> she says you can do that with face cloths and everything. Yeah, why didn't we think of that, right? Like, oh my goodness. Um, so she's, you know, to make the face cloths, you could put the like ribs on it um, and do like a front post, back post on it or like something that'll give you the ridges and Bob's your uncle. I thought that was brilliant. So, um, another thing is, uh, Manic Mama. I watched her video. I had no idea that you could put coffee creamer, like the Coffee Mate coffee creamer in the freezer. My daughter says, really, mom? It's liquid. Why wouldn't you think that you couldn't put it in the freezer? Because I'm an idiot. I figured that it would be like cheese, you know, kind of like when you put cheese in there and it's all crumbly, right? It's dairy. I didn't think you could put dairy in the freezer. So I, I was a little shocked and surprised and elated because if I mean I, I go through that stuff like crazy like crazy and um, yeah so I thought wow that's awesome so now I can out sorry my back is really sore today <clears throat> um, so now I can stock up and put it in the freezer like who knew I I didn't know I, apparently everybody else in the world knew this and I didn't so, yeah, okay. Um, Crystal from Chronically Crochet is doing a stash buster. Uh, and then every month it's going to be something else. Um, she's going to spin a wheel. And look, her husband bought her this wheel. She's so happy. Um, and she's going to let us know what we make every month. And then you post it on her Facebook uh, group. <coughs> So this month, I think it's a cowl and uh, haven't started on that yet. <clears throat> so I'm trying to get these stupid sweaters done. But um, yeah, go. I'll leave her link down below too. And if you'd like to get involved uh, with the Stash Buster, go for it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, you know how I was talking about... <clears throat> excuse me, in my last video that my Hirschner's order is taking like three weeks to get here and, uh, you know, ice yarns only takes like four days and 
I did a Michael's order to get the yarn. Ugh. I ordered three balls of the Lush Alpaca um, to finish the sweater off. Two days. Two days. It came in two days. I got it yesterday and I finished the sweater. Hirschners, what is your problem? Like seriously. Oh. <clears throat> so anyway, you'd think it was coming from Asia. It's like, it's ridiculous. Pissing me off. I love their yarn. I love ordering from them, but I hate the wait time. You know, by the time I get my, my order back, I've forgotten what I was making, forgetting, forgetting what I wanted to make, you know, and it's just, it's ridiculous. Rant over. <clears throat> okay. Oh, um, Nona26 is now called Grandma Benny. She's changed her channel name because she said there's too many Nonas out there. I get that. <clears throat> so it's Grandma ben Benny, not Betty. Grandma Benny. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I'll see if I can get that video and I'll link that one down below as well. Okay, now I wanted to just put this out there. Everybody is getting on the bandwagon of um, doing lives and doing tutorials and just upping their game on their channel. I really feel like I've been, I'm being, no, wrong wording. I really feel like I'm left behind in that sense. Not from you guys, from me. Because with the surgery and everything and the healing and me not being able to get around very well, I haven't been able to do the stuff that I've wanted to do. I wanted to do tutorials a long time ago. I wanted to do, start doing lives. And I just haven't gotten to it. And I just, I'm feeling really down about it, you know, because the the healing is taking over my life and i just feel like i'm i'm not i'm stagnant i feel like i'm stagnant even though i'm putting out you know a few videos <clears throat> i feel like i'm not really giving to you guys you know <clears throat> i was doing giveaways before i was doing you know i was doing all this stuff before and now i just feel like the like i'm not giving back so I'm kind of a bit depressed about that I know it will happen I know you know my healing will be over at some point and I'll be able to get back to what I was doing before but for right now I just kind of feel I just feel like I'm lacking because all I could do is just sit in this chair and point the camera and go hi you know so that really sucks but uh, anyway um, I have a couple shout outs yes I do I don't know if they even watch my channel but you know I thought I'd do the shout out anyway I just recently found and I can't remember whose video I was watching and they mentioned this person but uh, I went and checked out the channel and it's such a sweetheart. Gary from Urban Yarn. He actually lives in Vancouver. Just a ferry ride away from me. You know, um, he doesn't live that far from me. I, I mean, I lived in the lower mainland in Vancouver for my whole life. So anyways, I checked out his channel. He knits and he crochets. And let me tell you, he has only been doing it since March or something. I can't remember now, but it was, he hasn't, maybe six, seven months he's been doing it. The guy is making sweaters, people. I'm telling, knitting freaking sweaters. I can't believe it. He does some beautiful knitting work. I mean, I know it's knitting, 
but he started crocheting as well. And I'm not a knitter. I can't knit for my life. But I what kept me on his channel was that I was so impressed with how much he has learned so quickly and that the stuff he's making isn't all cockeyed. It's not all, you know, messed up or anything. They look store bought. They are professional like sweaters. I, I was just like, are you kidding me? Like he's, he's a muse or something because man, he, he has picked it up. He has run with it and he is doing awesome. I am so impressed with him. So I'm going to leave his link down below. Go check him out because he is an amazing artist, right? He's a natural. Um, George just came home. Hopefully he's got my yarn. So anyways, go check out Gary because he is fabulous. Fabulous. Love him. Uh, the other one I wanted to shout out is Cabin Fever Crochet. I haven't watched many videos yet, um, but sweetheart, absolute sweetheart. So go and check her out too. Um, and that's pretty much all I've got, except for right now, George is gonna walk in the door and there he is. And he forgot the box of yarn in the van, but he's coming back with it. Oh, oh. okay. Are we live? Yes, we are live. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Okay, he's getting my yarn. Yay! Okay, hold that thought. Okay, um, I guess we're opening this. <laughs> happy mail, happy mail. Happy mail, this is, oh. I think I'm gonna do a happy mail video. I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna do a happy mail. I'm gonna do another video right after this, okay? So I'm gonna sign off right now. So jump over to my other video <laughs> and see what Cheryl sent me. Ah, oh, mind blown. <laughs> okay guys, I'll talk to you later. Love you, bye.